by accepting membership of the World Trade Organization, that is WTO, India has become a part of the global village. The FDI inflows into the country from 1991 to June 2008 stand at more than $1.89 billion. We have witnessed a major change in this area between the years 1992 till 2007 and if one scans through the newspapers, one will find that economic news has taken priority over political news. The area in which the imports are almost essential are defense requirements, crude oil, fertilizers, capital goods, industrial inputs like raw materials, components, consumables, spares, etc., import of samples, import of technology, import of drawing and designs, import of services, etc. There are many vital areas where there is a need to import capital goods, new as well as second-hand in order to upgrade our products and services. Likewise, in the case of contract manufacture, a firm makes a contract with another firm abroad whereby the contracted party manufactures or assembles a product on behalf of the contractor. The contractor retains full control over marketing and distribution whilst the manufacturing is done by the local company. The advantages of such outsourcing are, there is no need to invest in plant overseas, the risk of assets expropriation are minimized. Risks associated with currency fluctuations are better managed. Control of marketing is retained by the contractor. A product manufactured in the overseas market may be easier to sell, especially to government customers. Lower transport costs and sometimes lower production costs can be obtained. To sum up, it is not possible to survive without imports when the world is moving so rapidly towards globalization and liberalization.